My name is Ron Feldman. I'm the Senior Vice President for Supervision, Regulation, and Credit at the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis, and I'll be talking about banking conditions in the 9th Federal Reserve District as of the third quarter of 2012. And just as a reminder, the 9th District consists of the states of Montana, North and South Dakota, Minnesota, the western portion of Wisconsin, and the upper peninsula of Michigan. And as you can see at this web link, we have much more data than I'm going to cover today, and I'd encourage you to take a look. So the bottom line, uh, the really three bottom lines for this quarter are as follows. First, in terms of the quarter itself, there was a small improvement. Um, in terms of asset quality or problem assets, there was a moderate improvement uh, where the district is now exceeding uh, historical averages, so we're sort of back to where we were before the financial crisis. In contrast, profitability and loan growth had pretty flat to small improvement and are still off historical trends. And I'll cover this in more detail. The second point I want to make is there is variation across our states in terms of performance, and the Dakotas are by far in the strongest position. And finally, I will conclude and talk a little bit about a forecast we made uh, for banking conditions. We made the forecast as of last year for the end of this year, and those forecasts are generally speaking looking good. So now let me talk a little bit about banking conditions in the 9th District. And before I do so, let me say that in terms of the nation as a whole, it's generally speaking going to be similar to what you're seeing here, relatively small improvement. So let's start with uh, problem assets. So we're going to define problem assets as loans or securities that banks hold that are not being paid on time or in full, and we're going to compare those to the financial resources that banks have to absorb losses from those assets. In this graph, what you're going to look at is the distribution of banks on that performance measurement. You're going to look at the median, which is the middle bank, and you can see that there was a slight and well, small improvement. And you can see that relative to the 20-year median, which is the black line going across the graph, that we're actually better now than we were on relative to that standard. So there's a moderate decline, and things are looking, again, relatively similar to what they looked like before the financial crisis. In contrast, profitability remains relatively flat. And you can see here that means that we are underneath the 20-year median. So it was flat quarter to quarter, and we're not doing as well as we've done historically. Now why is that? It's because the main way that banks make money in our district, which is the difference between how much it costs them to get money and then how much they earn by buying securities and earning loans, that that metric has itself been flat. And so this is really um, a continuing source of uh, a lagging condition or weakness for banks in our district. If you're thinking a little bit about the future and where profitability is going to go, it's going to depend a lot on the next measure, which is year-over-year -year loan growth. And here you can see that there was a small increase, but, but we're still uh, pretty far off our 20-year median. So again, small increase, but on an absolute level, we're still relatively weak. And so why do I say this will tell us about future profitability? Well, because banks in our district make most of their money by making loans, and if they can't grow their loan balances, then their main source of profitability remains weak. So again, in total for the nation as a whole and for the ninth district, we saw some improvement in the third quarter, asset quality looking like it's better than it has been for quite a while, um, but profitability and loan growth remain weak. But within the district, there's a lots of variation of performance. And I'm going to highlight two measures that show that the Dakotas are particularly strong. So in this slide, what you're looking at is problem assets across these uh, states that are in our district. The top panel in red are going to look at those states that are performing better than the district overall. And the bottom panel in blue, you're going to see the states that are performing worse. I want to point out that North Dakota and South Dakota, as they have been for some while, so for some time, are doing better in terms of problem assets. That is, their median bank has fewer problem assets than the district's median bank. And they've been doing better for quite a while, and they continue to do well in that metric. And where it really stands out, particularly for North Dakota, is year-over-year -year loan growth. As you see in the top of this chart, it's much, much higher than the district as a whole. And that's reflecting the very strong economy in North Dakota, driven by strong ag conditions and strong uh, resource extraction, uh, particularly in the Bakken. And then finally, let me conclude by talking a little bit about our forecast. In this slide, what you're looking at are measures of profitability, loan growth, and problem assets. And for each of those, you'll see a range. And that's the forecast range that I made at the end of last year for the end of this year. And this is for the state of Minnesota, by the way. 
and you'll see that there is a dot in each of those ranges. So what does that mean? The dot is the forecast of where I thought we'd be at the end of the year. Since we're already in the range as of the third quarter, it's a good bet that for states like Minnesota, my forecast is going to hold. And while my forecast wasn't as good across every metric for every, every state, this is a, not a bad reflection of the, the general accuracy. So let me summarize. The third quarter was fairly flat, uh, not a lot of change relative to the second quarter. Um, there are some states, uh, despite that relatively tepid performance, that are doing really well, particularly the Dakotas, and our forecast looks pretty solid. Thanks very much.